Welcome to April's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is power of three. Given an integer n, return true if it is a power of three. Otherwise, return false. An integer n is a power of three if there exists an integer such that n equals three to the x power. Now you can see that 27 is going to be true because that's three times three times three, uh, while nine is going to be true because that's three times three, but 45 is not going to be a power of three. Now there's a follow-up, we solve it without loops or recursion, but let's start with just using a loop. Um, if we w could use a loop, it's pretty trivial, right? All we need to do is first check if the n is less or equal to zero. If it is, we can return a false immediately. Now otherwise, we're going to iterate here with an x and an i, the i representing an integer for, from one to however number, and x, every number that's going to be a power of three. So we'll start with x being 1 and i being 0. So we'll say while x is less than or equal to n, uh, if x equals n, then we want to return a true. Otherwise, we could increase our i and uh, recalculate our x to be 3 to the i power. Now if we're going to follow this loop, then that's going to be a false. So this is pretty trivial. Uh, it's probably the typical answer most people give, and it will get submitted. But or it will get accepted, but um, is there a better way to do this? Like this would take O to the log 3 power. Um, can we do this in O of n time? Now, one way we can do that is there's actually a lot of methods. We can use like mathematical formulas and logarithms. But the easiest way, I think, is to first figure out what's the maximum number that we can have given these constraints for the nth power. Uh, so how we can do that is... Um, we know that it's going to be within right here to 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 the uh, 31. So uh, we'll say okay, let's have n equal two to the 31 first power minus one, and say uh, while x equals zero, while x is less or equal to n, uh, let's print out the x and We'll say, uh, we also need an i here, then we say i equals uh, 0, I think x section is equal 1 here. Um, we'll print, not x, but i. Now first, recalculate our um, i to plus 1 and x to equal i to the, I'm sorry, 3 to the i power, right? And this is going to give us the maximum i that we can have given our constraints. So let's just see what that is first. Um, and this should end up being, oh, not 19, I'm sorry. Uh, just see if that works here. Yeah, so we can see that 19 is going to be the biggest i that we can have. Okay, so that's going to be our max number. We'll say 3 to the 19. And really all we need to do then is to say, well, okay, if check to see if n is less or equal, is actually greater than zero, it's gotta be greater than zero, and um, max modular n is equal to zero. Because if this number is to the power of three, we should expect that it's divisible. All right, let's see if this works. And this also works, and this is going to be O of 1 time, as well as O of 1 space. Um, now, I didn't come up with this. I, I did see this in the solutions. Um, I found it pretty interesting. I wouldn't have come up with it on my own. So uh, I guess it's one of those things that I'm not completely sure how one would come up with this, but hey, it works. So we'll just leave it at that. Okay, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.